Hey guys, it's Palm Primus here, and today I'm continue on with DC Universe Online. This is actually my second attempt to record today. Um, I was recording beforehand. I was trying to do artifacts of the past or something, uh, but unfortunately, the team that we we're playing with, I guess. Um, we weren't working really well together, and so they disbanded it, so I wasted basically about 25 minutes of my life doing jack shit, just standing around, waiting and waiting and waiting, and then we actually fight. They say, you know what, screw it, this team sucks, and they all leave. So, I'm going to do another one. Uh, that's the problem with these tier 6 missions, you know, you have to get a good team with you, otherwise you're not going to do too well. Um, so, I'm going to see what else we're going to do today. Um, I did promise, you, obviously you guys don't see the previous recording because I deleted it but um, I did say that if I wasn't gonna be able to do a tier 6 uh, properly I'm just gonna do some random ass uh, you know tier uh, four player or two player one all right actually uh, I haven't done much of the two player one and speaking of which I haven't done any of these and these are actually quite easy to do quite fast to do no problems and, um, yep, there we go. And it's only two players, so you don't really have to wait too long for another person to play the, uh, the actual, um, duo, as that's what they called. It's a tier 5, so you get a decent amount of, uh, marks of triumph for it. It's not bad. Um, and it's fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's set in the Trigon, uh, Underworld, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, it's the, from the Trigon DLC, uh, Sons of Trigon, I believe, part 1. I think it's called part 1. And so, basically, it's pretty cool. Wow, this is taking pretty long for a duel. Shit, the other guy must be masturbating. Um, I'm just here relaxing, drinking my beer. All right, I'm drinking some uh, New Belgium Fat Tire. I don't know, some beer that my brother recommended. And uh, it's all right. It's okay. Download beer mode. Oh, my God. This beer company has a freaking app. And it says here, enjoy beer uninterrupted. Of course, I do not support drinking beer or any alcoholic beverage if you're under age. I am of age. I'm, you know, 24. So I'm of age. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's see here. Uh, where are we going to go next? Burning next. Where do you want to go? Left or right? We'll go right. Okay, we're going right. And you mustn't allow I can easily defeat these guys. No envy. problem. It will bring him closer to releasing his father. There we go. Oh no, that hurt me, psych. There we go. Oh, these colors are very vibrant in this um, area here. Oh, we're two controllers, sweet. Okay, and get access to Envy Ritual. This thing? No. Okay, I guess he just wants to jump to this. There we go. Wait, hold on. There we go. Okay, let's just tackle him like that. There we go, son of a bitch, a greater envy demon. A uh, little kind of. It uh, looks like an actual demon. The other ones don't. These are just cultists. Okay, well, wow, he's not doing too well. He must be a low level. Okay. Usually these tier 5s now are just really easy for me. Yeah, look at we open the door. Now this one here, you got to be careful with because it's basically yes. an onslaught. The prize. Uh, I think four it of them and then you fight the boss or mini boss if you would. It and then afterwards you have to fight the horde of demons desire. there. And so... You will not disrupt the ritual. Okay, Mr. What the hell is he supposed to be? Okay, we're gonna get some backup here. We need some other backup here. You know, get this. Okay, so he's mental, I believe. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you think you can actually defeat me, little cultist? Haha, <laughs> this is so simple now for me. Oh, I love it. I can't do tier sixes though. It's like every time people every time I go on tier six people always are like, Oh, this guy sucks, the controller sucks. 
I just gotta keep on this rinse and repeat, baby. And there we go. One, two more rounds. You wish. Yeah, you wish. And boom goes dynamite, and the stasis lock. Oh, I love it. I actually like quantum because it's really flashy. Okay, this guy. Oh, this guy's so cute. You think he's going to defeat me? And stay stasis, and there we go. Pretty much dead. I probably can tackle the boss alone. Oh, game a bit too cocky there. I don't know. We gotta, we gotta make find out. Go imprison these guys here. There we go. Let's rinse and repeat, baby. Let's rinse and repeat. All right, and now we just got to now these chains should be. Oh wait, defeat Ritual Master. Where is the little douchebag? A hey, douchebag. Where are you? Oh, here he is. Oh. There we go. Lowers defense a little bit. There we go. Stasis locked is that? Oh, he doesn't get stasis locked. Gotta lower his defense a little bit. I'm gonna do a little quick action here. I'm not even gonna do weapon mastery at the moment. Just, just gonna just gonna attack him. This guy is easy. I remember when I first started doing this mission, I was like, oh my god, these guys are so tough. Okay, crap, they're, they're basically killing me right now. I resent that. Come here, bitch. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. We have to worry about it. Just wait. Just wait. Don't go. Just wait until your health heals. This is like... This is supposed to be like... He's like the demon. It's Lucifer with purple horns. Oh, so we're good to go. Alright, let's get in here. Let's start on the left side here. You know, let's get a little bit of this. Okay, I'll call a little bit back up here. My little minion. There we go. I call some backup. We need some backup. Okay, bring up the. Screw this shit. I'm Bruce Lee, bitch. And Shazam. Stay safe, baby. Hell yeah, I'm the juggernaut, motherfuckers. Stasis locked. Hey, this is simple. This is like this is a cakewalk for me. Me and my minions next to me. Wait, does that thing? Oh, I already got that one. As you can tell, I already defeated this uh, location just for the fact that uh, I already got the investigations. Ooh, party, party, party! Yeah, blitz, baby, blitz! Oh shit! <laughs> Look at that massacre! Shit, shit, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it! That's the sound, baby! Yeah! Oh, screw this! Come on, bitches! I gotta call some reinforcements here. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, 
shit, there's too many of them. There's too many of them. Oh, there's too many of them. I got, I got gang raped there. I got too confident there. Yep, I got too. I, I need more sodas. I gotta buy some sodas for this fight. If I'm not, if I can't get sodas, I'm not gonna do too well. We, we don't have a healer, and this guy's not that tough. Probably more armor's weak too. So let's see here. What we got. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? No, we'll repair all of that. Yeah, I just I didn't repair my armor after doing the tier six one. Let me see here. I got enough for a. I'll give me some of that. I got enough marks of triumph for it anyway. And then I'll just equip this real quick. <gasps> Alright, let's go. Oh, we're good to go. We're good to go. Do the plan. I wanted to change my movement to like maybe flying or something, but I was like, nah, I like acrobatics. It's fun. It's fun on the bun. Yeah, let's do this shit. I gotta, gotta, like, kind of lure them out. I don't know how I wasn't defeating them. Look at that. I'm doing so much damage to them now. This is ridiculous. Why do you have to... Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, damn it. Wait, wait, hold on. I gotta do stasis log there. There's a little grenade bomb. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on. We need a little backup here. There we go. There we go. Come on, I'm just gonna keep my distance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just throw him from the distance. Hakata! Bruce Lee, bitch! There we go. Weapon mastery to the rescue. Uh, but let's see what's going on. Uh, what else? Uh, DC, really not much is going on except the new DLC where you get the. Uh, Okay, he's here now. All right, then we get the uh, what's my call it? Um, the new what's this new DLC? Uh, the War on Light Part Two, I believe, and you fight the magenta people, the, the pink people, or the love people, whatever they're called. Allow me to and... shed some light on the situation. Oh, Doctor Light, cool. I never fought him. I fought always Gizmo, a little fucker. At least this um, is entertaining. but other than DC, has nothing new. There's new games. Far Cry Four came out. Dragon Age Inquisition, which I was going to get, and I was going to do a video on, but then I saw the reviews for it on the PS3, and it's so disappointing, man. I was like, really, man? Oh, shit, motherfucker. Stop that. And it, it was just saying that the graphics were, like, it was bad. Even for a PS3 game, it was bad. Like, it looked like PS2 graphics, and... People were saying it was bad and all this stuff, and I saw some of the gameplay footage online. It just didn't look too good, man. It looked like Dragon Age One. Like Enough. I was like, "What? This looked like garbage." Oh shit! Come on, ah. douchebag. No. Get a little bit of help here. And the game looks like on the PS4 and the PS, you know, Xbox One and PC. It looks beautiful. Don't get me wrong with that, man. But oh, it just looks so abysmal on the PS3. And so I, instead of getting that game, I was like, you know what? I really want to get a new game because I sold two of my games, The Last of Us, which I never did a video on because that was more of like a guilty pleasure. I got it for free when I bought my new PS3 and everything. So I really wasn't gonna. Video, I wasn't going to record that one. Plus, that one's been out for a while, so people have already done it. And then I got, uh, then I sold. Well, I'm still trying to sell. What should I call it? Dragon's Dogma, because I played it, beat it, and stupid enough, I bought the Awakening one. Not the Awakening one. Dragon's Dogma: uh, Dark Arisen. But I just, I couldn't get back into playing it because I already knew how the game was. I knew the story. It was fun and everything, but. 
I'm selling at the moment at Amazon. So if you guys go to Amazon, it's probably like the lowest one. It's called Everything Must Go. So go visit it if you want to buy it. It's uh, brand. It's like brand spanking new. I got it from GameStop. Uh, so it's not bad or anything like that. And um, let me see here. You don't have to. You don't have to download the DLCs. The DLCs are automatically inside the game itself. So there's no code that you need. Um, there's no online code as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Really, there's no online play except you get like the uh, uh, what you might call those little. Uh, oh my God, what are those guys called? The the freaking partners of yours and everything like that. So you really don't have to worry about that whatsoever. So if you guys want to buy, I'm selling it for like I think the cheapest price there. Uh, so it's everything must go. That's my uh, profile for Amazon. So if you guys want to buy it, go ahead. All right, I think it's still up there as of now. The last time I checked, a few uh, about a couple of hours ago and everything. So, and then I decided to buy two games to replace the two games I sold. And I was thinking, what two games should I get? And I was saw I saw that on uh, what should I call it? It was uh, on Black not Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday. They were selling Saint Rose Four with all the DLCs for like what 14 bucks and I was like eh, it's a fucking good deal and I heard this game is pretty good I looked at the reviews I got a good score and it's different it's unique it's like Grand Theft Auto meets fucking DC and I was like oh this is fucking sick and it's like it has that stupid comical feel to it like the other St. Rose games so I figured why not and I got that game but then you know Amazon has that free shipping thing like oh get free shipping for uh, used to, it used to be 25 bucks but I guess they increased it to 35 so it's kind of disappointing to see that and um, but I also had to buy a cable for my chair that I use uh, to connect the TV to the chair and I get surround sound on my headsets here um, so I needed a new cable anyway so I bought that it was like 10 bucks a good one uh, and then I was like I think it was like 24 bucks and I was like, you know what? Ten more bucks, and I get this thing. I can get the shipping for free. And to be honest, um, if I paid for shipping, uh, it would still be ten bucks. So I was like, okay, either I can get three stuff and get free shipping anyway, or get two stuff and pay for shipping and lose on the opportunity for that. So I said, screw it. I'm gonna get uh, something else. So I started looking around and seeing what I can get, and then. I saw a game that I've been wanting to get for like forever and everything and that was us uh, was it a uh, star ocean in uh, last hope international uh, which is like a upgraded version from the star ocean last hope uh, for the Xbox 360 and it's an upgraded version and I, I, I bought it. it was like 20 bucks used and everything and it was an RPG game that I've always wanted to get since the PS3 came out but I just I, I guess it just there was other games out there to buy that were better. So I really wasn't... I didn't really care for it. And then just recently I just figured, why not, man? I, I, I've been postponing getting this game for years. Okay. And it looks interesting. It kind of reminds me of Grandi. If you guys ever played Grandi on the PS2 or the Dreamcast. It originally came out for the P... For the Dreamcast, uh, or actually originally came out for the, uh, I think the Super Nintendo, the first one came out, uh, and then it, it came out with the like 3D versions for the PS, uh, not PS, the Dreamcast, and then I bought the uh, PS2 version when it came out when I was a kid, and I loved it, oh my god, the game had a great story, it had, I'm not going to spoil uh, anything for you guys, but a character that you start liking, like in the beginning you're like, oh this character's kind of weird. But then you start liking them. Watch it. Shit. Shit. You will wish uh, I'm not losing. Dead. Uh, -uh. I got. I got to focus. Hold on. Uh, I'll tell you about Grand Eye later. There we go. You piece Yo, get in my minions. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on. Come on, I can get him, I can get him, I can get him. I can get him. Shazam, bitch! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on, baby! Yeah, come on, come on! Oh, come on. I almost had Jesse. Not really. 
Ha, <laughs> Jesse from uh, Breaking Bad. Funny enough. Uh, but yeah, back to the story. So, I, I, the, the original Grand Egg came out for the Super Nintendo. And then some other versions came out, I believe, for the PS1 or some shit like that. And then the Dreamcast came, one came out. And I bought uh, the PS2 version when that came out. I think about uh, two years later or something like that. And I loved it. The game, the game back then had good graphics. Uh, had some voice acting once in a while. The characters were lovable. I, I loved all the characters. Every character in that game, I can say I loved. And I can, and I can never really say that to a game truly, because when you play a game, you're like, I hate these fucking characters. But every character in that game I played with, I loved. I had a connection with. Favoritisms, obviously, with certain people's and abilities. And the story was good, and it was interesting, there was twists and turns, um, it was basically about religion, you know, good and evil, and all this stuff and everything, so it was pretty cool, and um, Star Ocean basically had that concept of the fighting style in which you baby, you're basically like this, it's kind of like this in DC Universe Online where you can like run around, you can do your abilities, but you have, you, you have a, uh, I guess like a ATB meter, um, you know, a weight to battle, I think it was a weight to, what was it, AT, is it called ATB in Final Fantasy? Well, whatever, it's a churn, it's a ch kind of like a turn based battle in which your little gauge goes up and everything like that, and once your gauge goes up, you can decide what your actions are going to be, you can attack, you can use an item, you can heal, um, Son of a bitch's abilities, dude. And basically, oh shit, we're never gonna beat this guy. We need a healer. Shazam! Okay, there we go. Just, he does way too much damage. And so it was basically like that. It's kind of like DC Universe Online here, but every time you wanted to do an action, you would have to wait until your uh, ATB bar or your, or your meter bar, your uh, time bar goes up and it's your turn, right? But you can move your characters around. You can dodge attacks. You can even um, cancel out opponent's attacks by using a power strike, and that was pretty cool. And it was pretty cool because you had two options. You could do a combo, which does more damage, or you could do a power strike, which does a little, uh, doesn't do as much damage, but does a decent amount of damage. But it cancels out in a, in a, let's say an attack phase or a magic phase for an opponent, and it makes them go back. Uh, that makes their time meter go down, and then you know they have to wait another turn <coughs> before they attack. And you can move your characters around. It was pretty cool. The bosses were pretty fun to fight with. And so Star Ocean has the same concept, the same idea. You can you It's kind of the same way. So you can move around, sad. attack, but you have to wait and everything like that. So it, it was pretty cool, and it reminds me of that. I think it's a little bit more fast-paced than Grand Eye. Actually, the one I'm talking about is Grand Eye 3 um, and everything. Come on, come on. I'm getting my minions out here. What's hitting me, man? Come on. Don't touch me. Oh my god. Oh, come on, man. There's no way. This is such bull honky, man. Don't don't even just attack him. Finish him off. He gets attacked by those orbs. Oh, come on, man. Uh, it's not him. It's just uh, two controllers can't do this together. Unfortunately, I don't have a DPS loadout right now. Ooh I think I should get that, but I don't have enough loyalty points for that. So, unfortunately, I can't do it. Um... But yeah, Grand Eye 3, it was it was awesome game. I really recommend it um, if you can... I don't know if it's on PSN or Xbox or whatever. Uh, or even if you have Dreamcast, get the game. It's, it's fucking cool. And so Star Ocean kind of remind me of that. I saw some of the gameplay. I've been watching videos since it came out and everything. Always wanted to get it. 
So I got a basic just like idea of I think I'm gonna like this game. And the characters look cool like and interesting and everything like that. A little bit too anime in my pers uh, preference, my but hey, whatever, you know. I like I like Japanese games. They're, they're, they have good stories, they have good Feel combat, um, memorable characters and everything like that. Oh, come on. It's mine. Why, why is he at... Dude. I have the power of Wonder Woman. Humans are so envious. Yeah, I'm envious because you're a cheater. Oh, I can stay over here and he can Oh, 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 There we go. Don't tell my father. Come on, come on, come on, you little of a bitch. <sighs> I will not lose. Don't touch me. Come on, come on, come on, Shazam! Shazam! Get this son of a bitch! Get this son of a bitch! Oh come on, this is such bull fucking shit! Oh my god, combat rating no. That is such bull honky, man. Oh, oh my god, this is pissing me off. This is son of a bitch. If I had a DPS guy with me, man, or he if he was a healer. If he was a healer, I just just let me do all the fighting. He could have done all the healing. It would have been fine, man. Ready to do this shit? Let's go. Let's do this shit. Right, right, right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Muhammad. All right. He looks like kind of Muhammad. I don't know. But yeah. So I bought those two games, hoping they're gonna be good. Uh, Saint Rose Four. What is mine? It seems hilarious. I bought it just because it looks hilarious. Get away, bitch. Watch it. Oh my god, how's he doing so much damage to me, man? Is it because I'm near that thing? Don't touch me. You know what? I can't I can't I can't get near him when he's attacking me like that. Don't tell my father. Oh, you tell your father you can't fight your own battles, you little bitch? Shit, shit. We have to go, we have to go. Get go. Get something heal. It's mine. There we go. I got him. Shit, shit, shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah! Shit. Ah! Oh, you fucking cunt muffin. Did he beat us? No, no, no. He's getting, he's getting, he's healing. He's healing. Come on. You can do it, dude. He's almost dead. Just finish him off. Yes, he froze him, he froze him. I like how it's like, it's like, really slow animations. Envy is never satisfied. Yes. Ah, uh, we defeated it. Big bot. I did the most damage, of course. I did the most healing out. No, he did the most healing out, and I did the most power out. Of course, I am the superior. Uh, controller. Uh, whatever. So let's see here. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. I just I can't believe if he beat him and I didn't. And give him a little thumbs up for good job. Uh, greetings. I'll bow to him. He bowed to me. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now exit the exit dome. Uh, if you guys are wondering, there is a investigation or I don't know brief briefing over here or some shit. Um, Let's see here, anything else you can find. That's pretty much it. 
in a nutshell. So I'll see you guys. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna see you guys around. I'll see this guy around. But yeah, uh, those are the two games. What do you think about the two games I just bought? Star Ocean. Have you played it? What do you think about it? Give me your reviews about it. Um, and then for Saint Rose Four, you tell me about it. Is it was it worth fourteen bucks? I think it's worth fourteen bucks. It's not bad. They're both cheap games and everything. So yeah. You know, it should be good. Uh, I heard Star Ocean has like 40 plus hours of play. I don't think I'm going to actually do recordings on that one just for the fact that it's a long, it's an RPG game, and RPG games are just pain in the ass to record because they're so long and tedious. Um, I probably might do boss battle recordings, but not a full game playthrough. Uh, Saint Rose 4, I probably will do a playthrough on that one just to show the hilarity of it because it just looks fucking hilarious and awesome to do a commentary on. And other than that, oh, that's basically it. So this is Palm Primus. Keep it crunchy and I'm the peace worst out. Of the fun. Hey guys, it's Palm Primus here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more DC Universe Online videos, just press the link in the video right now. Otherwise, just press like and leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Palm Primus Zero, if you want to see more gameplay footages I've done. Also, for those who want to see my Mass Effect videos, go to my second channel, Two Chunk of Pie Jacks. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. This is Palm Primus. Keep it crunchy and peace out.